Hey guys, how's it going? The Sofa Lockbreaker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. This is a fun video series that I try to do every single Saturday, and it serves as a great place for me to update the community on anything that I have been working on, and it also serves as a great place for the community to update everyone on what they have been working on. As I've had a busy start to my fall semester, it isn't always easy for me to do this every Saturday, exactly at 4 o'clock, especially doing a live stream, because you never know what's going to get in the way with life, but I'm happy to do it today on Sunday and try to keep this as consistent as possible. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been able to make it out today. Thank you to Starry Lock, Dana Reed, Coxie's Picks, Panda Frog, Sherlock, Deadlocks, and um, I just want to say that this is a really cool thing to do. So, as always, if you have any updates at all that you'd like to see shared next week, please drop those in the comment section below. So, the first thing that I'd like to bring our attention to this week is just going to be a really cool coming up milestone of my own. So, I've been doing my channel for, I think, almost three years now. I'd have to look at the date. But as you can tell, I'm getting pretty close to 50,000 subscribers. I think that is really cool and I just feel so fortunate to be able to have all of these great subscribers and being able to interact with the community. I just think it's pretty cool to see that we are currently live and we can also see that I am live. I think that'd be interesting to click that but I'm not going to because I don't want to make any weird lag. But I've just been having a lot of fun running my channel. I want to say thank you to everyone that has been able to always be there and I just want to say this has been pretty cool. I think it is really awesome that a lot of people found my most recent video to be very helpful by how to start identifying serrated pens when learning lock picking. Serrated pens are something that can be quite difficult to start to learn when you are first beginning. And I just want to say that that is pretty cool. I wish I could get this to play without the ad, but this is a video that a lot of people found pretty helpful. I enjoy being able to do a lock um, picking homeschool video. I want to try to maybe alternate it every other week or so. I want to keep those going. So I just want to first start off this week by sharing a few channels. So I'm going to bring back the main screen right here and we're going to take a look and see how the comments are doing. All right, Lockmania, welcome and thank you for making it. I know that this is a little bit off of our normal time. So the first channel that I'm going to share today is going to be a channel that reached out to me on Discord. I am not always great at keeping up with all of the requests if they are not sent in the comment section below because there's just so many different places to be able to check them out. So the channel that was shared to me goes by Artichoke2000. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring up Artichoke's channel for you, and then I'm going to bring up a video that Artichoke would like me to share. So what I'm going to do right now is bring up that for you. Alright, so I have Artichoke brought up. Now I just need to bring it up on your screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so we have Artichoke brought up here. So this is a channel that I am not very familiar with, but as you can tell, they have 65 subscribers. So they're a relatively new channel and always growing. They have several videos. And the video that they wanted me to share with you is going to be um, the one with the Acid Twin Combi picked and gutted. I believe it's this one right here. But just take a look at these. These are all actually some pretty cool locks that they have been working on. So we're not going to watch the entire video. Let's just take a quick look and see what their channel is all about. Hey there! Today we are going to be picking the Asa Twin Combi. Like all Asa Twins, there are two mechanisms that must be defeated in order to successfully open this lock. The first mechanism is the six pin tumbler on the top with the classic Asa barrel driver pins, which interact with the counter milling found within the core of the lock. 
The second and very much unique mechanism is the sidebar, which requires five separate finger pins to both be rotated and elevated to the correct position in order for it to open. The original finger pin design was patented by Bo Wyden in 1988. It was initially used in the Schlage Primus and later adopted by Asa for their twin combi. The Schlage Primus finger pins have a smooth shaft, which make them susceptible to raking attacks. Asa improved on this design by giving their finger pins vertical serrations, which interact with the sidebar serrations. This makes rotation of the twin combi finger pins more difficult when compared to the Primus design, and it eliminates the risk of a horizontal raking attack. There are three finger pin rotational types. From a picker's perspective, they are best classified as push, straight, and pull. There are two finger pin lift types, which are high and low. This makes for a total of six finger pin types, push high, push low, straight high, straight low, pull high, and pull low. Okay, let's get to picking. All right, we have a split screen view with the left hand. All right, so I wanna say that that was actually a pretty cool brief little overview. I do not want to show the entire video here, but I do recommend that you check out Artichoke's channel if you'd like to see the entire video. So as always, if you would like to check them out, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Every subscription makes a big difference. You're gonna be able to get some really great content. And I just wanna say that that was a really cool video to share with everyone. I had not watched it before this. I wanna say that that is actually some really cool info. And I did not know that about the Primus pens versus the Asa pens, but that is really, really cool. So moving on to the next channel is going to be a channel that is in the chat currently. I don't know if they are still here, but they were active a little while ago. So this is a channel that unfortunately, in last week's Locksport update, I just wasn't able to quickly find them in the search. And this is another great example of why every subscription makes a big difference because sometimes even if you type in a channel name verbatim, other channels will pop up and it just makes them so hard to find. So the channel I'd like to share with you briefly is going to be Deadlocks. So I want to say Deadlocks, thank you for making it into the video this week, and I'm happy to share your channel right now. Now, I did not have a chance to pick out a specific video to share this week because I was putting this video together a little bit last minute. But I really enjoy being able to make these videos and being able to bring them up every single week. I don't know if anyone in the comments section has any specific video they would like me to share of Deadlocks, but I'm going to bring up the channel for you right now so you can check them out. So as you can see with Deadlocks, we're going to have a channel that has about 51 subscribers. We have a few videos and it looks like they do some pretty cool things. I think this lockbox challenge looks pretty cool. Um, I haven't had a chance to go through any of the videos yet, but what I'm going to do is just see if anyone brought anything up in the comment section, and if not, I am just going to randomly select a video that we can sample. So I do not see any recommendations currently, but there is a little bit of a lag on a live stream versus the um, when I'm saying it. But Deadlocks, I do see in the comment section, thank you for the shout out, and you're certainly welcome. So what I'm gonna do is just pick up, pick out the video that they posted today, actually, just a few hours ago. Here go. <laughs> it won't open, look. And it won't tickle. All right, Deadlocks here again for another Sunday challenge video. And this week we have a hasp with a cable tie on it. Oh dear. Hasp. Mm -hmm. I say. That's my two cents worth. That's, that's your two cents. This is a weird name. But we need to make a video that's all of your two cents bits all stuck together to make one big video with Mrs. Deadlock's two cents. Mm -hmm. Be some corkers in it. <laughs> well, why would you call it a hasp? It, well, what is a hasp? That's a hasp. Well, that's not. That's a hinge. It's a hasp. It's a hinge. It has a hinge. It's part of a hasp. 
It's a hinge, a locking hinge. It's a hasp. A locking hinge. Where? Why would you name it a hasp? It looks stupid. <laughs> it looks stupid. It does look stupid for stupid name. But now I'm going to have to Google why it's called a hasp. Well, yeah, because it's a stupid name. It also says hardened. I think we should get the uh, Leatherman out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> anyway, the plan is... We're going to lock the hasp. It shouldn't be called a hasp, so let's call it a terry. So we're going to lock terry, and uh, we're going to lock it with the master number three. I think it should be called Henry. Henry the hinge lock. It's a hasp. It's hinge lock now. Harry the hasp. Harry the hinge lock. <laughs> I'm going to notify whoever names things. That's, that's it. I'm doing right. it. So, we are now <laughs> nearly two minutes into this video. We've decided that a hasp is now called a Henry. A Harry? Who the hell is Henry? Oh yeah, Henry's a Hoover. So the hasp is now called... Harry. Harry. Harry the... Harry the hinge lock. It's not hasp, it's hinge lock. Jesus. And we have a, a Harry with a zip tie on it. Alright guys, thank you for checking out that really quick clip of Deadlock's video. If you want to see how this hinge versus Harry versus hinge lock is going to play out, I recommend you checking out his channel and being able to see all of the great content. So as always, if you would like to see more content by Deadlocks, what you can do is hit the subscribe button. Every channel makes a great difference. And I want to say thank you to whoever was able to record who was ever able to suggest that I share that channel last week. So, the last thing that I'd like to share this week is going to be a channel that sent me an email. This channel is a channel that is very active in the comment section, makes it to a lot of my live streams, and is a great member of the community. So, this channel just hit their 100th video and this channel is going to be Roy Salmon's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Roy Salmon's channel for you right now so you can check them out. So let me bring up this channel for you so you can see what they are all about. All right, so here's Roy Salmon's channel. And as you can see, Roy Sammons has about 247 subscribers. He just hit his 100th video, and what he wanted me to do was share a quick clip of this video. In his email, he said that he has been in communication with a company in the UK that makes security doors. They have a shop that sells locks, and I have purchased several locks from them for my work, and that's from Roy Sammons. He said after he corresponded with them over several emails and watched some of the videos, the company wanted to upgrade their locks to make them better. In this video, he's going to explain more detail and explain why their their company um, was chosen for his 100th video. I was just very much paraphrasing that, so I apologize if I um, missed anything. But let's just take a quick look at the quick look at this right now. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my 100th video and I thought to myself what could I do to celebrate my 100th video? Um, and I, I thought to what, a few different things, what could I do? <clears throat> Maybe pick a specific special lock or... Um, but today it's not going to be a lock picking video because um, because of an email that I sent and the correspondence, I decided I would make this my 100th video. I was going to make this video anyway, um, but this particular one, but I decided to um, focus it on a company um, and I'll explain why. So the company is, uh, it's a company that is based in the West Midlands and they, uh, they make um, I think the main business is that they make 
uh, steel security doors. And uh, basically they sell 10,000 doors a year. They've been established since 2008. Uh, it's a family run business. And in fact, the UK's leading supplier of security steel doors. That's amazing. Um, and they actually they're in partnership with Europe's fastest growing Europe cylinder company, UAP. That's amazing, isn't it? And the company is called Lathams. So what I just want to do is, if I can, this is one of their cards. And this is what started it off, basically, because if I can get, excuse me, if I can get light on this. Okay, this is one of the business cards. <clears throat> and you'll notice if uh, you use the code online10, you can get 10% off all the orders online. So, all right, so thank you for checking out Roy Salmon's 100th video. If you'd like to check out the rest of the video, what I recommend you do is go over to his channel and consider checking out all of his great content. He's currently at 247 subscribers. If you'd like to subscribe, it will really help his channel show up higher in the search algorithm. Every subscription makes such a big difference. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone that's able to support all of these great channels of Locksport. All right, so my camera just shut off on me for a second there. I hope that the audio is currently working. So I just want to first say thank you to everyone that's able to share every single week. I think that is really great being able to share all of these great channels. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that made it this week. So the last channel I'm going to share with you today is going to be... Um, a channel that you are most likely very familiar with and I'm going to bring him up right now. So this is a channel that I just found a video I found interesting someone in the comments section described it as the best video that he has ever made. So without further ado we're going to bring up Chris Capcoon and we're going to be able to check out Suki live and Brian Field I, the, the whole bad camera thing, that is, I, I don't understand about the Canon, something about Europe and a 30 minute record limit. It is something that plagues many, many cameras and it is what it is at this point. But either way, let me be able to bring up Chris Capcoon for you right here. So this will be a fun video to be able to check out and I'm going to play it for you right now. Hi there, Chris here, <laughs> and Suki, and she's hiding this Chisa, cool little padlock, and this is a 2602, <laughs> 26020 slash 40. See the pin, how it was pinned up. All it has leafy little key. I cat in the way. Put that key right there. Suk. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Suk. Somebody in the back holding us up, I think. Maybe I lost some of them. Did you want to tension that? Okay, you tension it. You tension it and I'll pick. There we 
we go. Thanks, Suk. And just like that, Let's Chris Capune was able to get the lock open <laughs> with the help of Suki. But either way, guys, anyway. this is all I have for you this week. This has been a really quick lock sport update. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone that was able to make it out this week. If you have anything that you would like to see shared next week, as always, please drop it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, please consider subscribing. But please don't consider just subscribing to just my channel. Please consider subscribing to all of the great channels out there. We're all in this together. We want to be able to help this community grow as a whole. And I just think this is a really fun thing to do. And I agree with... Um, who was that that said Brian Field he's only about 500 subs away and hitting 500 subscribers is such a really great milestone I want to say congratulations to Chris Capune I know you're going to get there I just want to say that this is such a fun hobby but either way guys this is all I have for you so if you have any questions suggestions please drop them and thank you so much for checking out this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one and I hope everyone has a really great rest of their weekend